think the value of simulation and using data derived digitally is critical uh, for a number of reasons. The most important thing we can do to educate students as to what the roles and responsibilities are of our key decision makers and to learn about civics and public policy is to put them in those roles and to have them essentially play act. One of the things that is really, really powerful about experiential learning is it puts students in a place where they envision themselves in a different way. Being able to throw yourself into an immersive experience, it just, just the way the brain chemistry around it works, it's stickier. My daughter came here last year and she got to be President Reagan. And for her, it was just eye-opening because she really thought of herself as a leader. When students come in and they go through this, they remember it. We try to live digital lives here because it drives our efficiencies and our abilities to strategize and consider how our programs ought to be adapted to serve a public which has tastes that might change on a routine basis and we need to stay up with what they're after when they come here. I think classrooms and museums, the challenge they have is the technology evolves so quickly and can be so expensive. Keeping up with the rate of technology is one thing. Keeping up with best practices in student learning, in making an impact for students and really considering the audience and the ways in which we engage. If we continue to look at technology as a tool that can really help meet those larger learning objectives, that's where museums should place their time and money uh, and effort and, and really use data to help them understand what's being learned.